Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add three numbers. So far we've been dealing with two numbers so now this is one step further. We're going to be adding three numbers and we're going to begin this with the vertical format. Okay now whether you're adding two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, the same principles apply. Let's have a look at our first example and you'll understand the process. Okay, so that is our question. 27 plus 46 plus 55. What is the answer? Let's label the columns. We've got units and tens. Okay, we start with the units. And what we have to do is we're going to be adding all three numbers here. We've got 7, 6, and 5. So let's start at the top. What is 7 plus 6? 7 plus 6 is 13. You knew that, 13. Let's write it in small writing here. And now we have to add the 5. So 13 plus 5 is 18. How do we write 18? No different to before. 18. The 1 at the bottom has become... It is now a 10. We're carrying 1. So we've done the units. We're now going to do the 10s. So 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. Let's write 6 in small writing here. And now we're going to add 5. 6 plus 5 equals 11. Now don't forget the 1 over here. 11 plus 1 is 12. That's how we write it down. We've got a new column. That is the hundreds. Now notice there are no hundreds here, no hundreds here, and no hundreds here. The only hundreds, <coughs> the only hundred is the one over here. So we just add that in. So 27 plus 46 plus 55 is 128. Okay, it's nice and simple. Now you're probably thinking that, well, we've done that. How about three digit numbers? Okay, well, let's do that. Okay, they're nicely spaced out. So this question is, what is 537 plus 275 plus 643? Okay, let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, and hundreds. We're going to start, as we always do, with the units. Now, rather than adding the 7 and the 5, have a look at all three digits. We've got 7, 5, and 3. Now what do you notice about them? We have to add them. Do you notice anything about them? Well, we know that 7 and 3 equals 10. Okay, we know that from our number bonds. So the only number we have to add to 10 is 5. The answer is 15. Okay, so let's put that in. 15, 1, 5. And that's what I mean by looking at patterns. Okay, now we're going to move on to the tens. Okay, now we've got 3, 7, and 4. I'm just going to change colors so that we can follow this clearly. The tens, let's write it here. We've got 3, 7, and 4. Okay, what do you notice about these three? Well, the same one again. The 3 and the 7, that equals 10. Don't forget the 4, 14. So that equals 14. So we've got 14 here, but don't forget the one at the right at the bottom. 14 plus 1 is 15, so let's write that in. And now we are on to the hundreds. Now for the hundreds, we've got 5, 2, 6. Now there's no real pattern there, so let's just add them one by one. 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay, let's put a small 7 here. And now we've got the 7 plus 6 equals 13. Okay, don't forget the 1 at the bottom. 13 plus 1 is 14. We've got a new column. Let's put it in. 
the thousands. Now notice there are no thousands here, there are no thousands here, and no thousands here. The only thousands is the one right at the bottom that we're carrying. So we can just put that in. So we've done it. 537 plus 275 plus 643 is 1000, we, we can even put a comma here, 1455. So you'll see from that the same principles apply. Okay? Now you have a go at a few numbers. So we have just done addition of three numbers using the vertical format.